Hi, I'm Derek Briggs, Product Manager for Sagami Rem Sales. Today, I'll explain how to easily set the subspindle phase synchronization on your Sagami machine. Phase synchronization is the rotational relationship of the subspindle to the main spindle. This is used when non-round features are created on the main spindle and a shaped collet is used to clamp on these non-round features. So we're gonna go ahead and set up our phase sync procedure between the subspindle collet and the main spindle collet. So let's say you were doing a milling a hex on the main side, which we have here. We have a, a hex feature on the part that I machined on the main spindle, and I need to pick off using a hex collet like this over that hex. In order to do so, I actually have to be able to orient my subspindle properly during the spindle synchronization during pickoff. So what we're gonna do, that's called phase sync. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our phase sync procedure to get this subspindle phased properly to the main spindle. The first thing we wanna do is we're gonna pull this sleeve out. In, inside the sleeve, on the side here, you'll see a little pin hole. That's for a three millimeter pin. And it's basically a two-man job. What you want to do is softly clamp this in a vise and take a little dowel pin, a three-millimeter dowel pin. You can buy them from MSC or McMaster Car or wherever you'd like. Um, just a regular steel dowel pin. And you're going to have someone compress the spring, and you're going to tap a dowel pin in here and then grind off the side so it's flush with this surface. Okay, if you nick it a little bit, it's no big deal. This is the important surface, and this is undercut right here. So shouldn't have to worry about uh, if you nick it just a little bit, it's not gonna be a problem. So you're gonna pin the collet sleeve. That way, this slot on your hex collet or your sh any kind of shaped collet, say you wire EDM to shape, any kind of shaped collet is gonna need to have this keyway right in the rear bearing surface is what they call this area. And most collet manufacturers, Southwick and Meister, Hardinch, they know, they'll know exactly what you mean when you need a three millimeter wide keyway in the rear bearing surface. They're gonna mill this for you, and then that is gonna actually hit this pin, and that's gonna orient that hex in the same spot every time because your actual sleeve itself has a slot on it as well, which is pinned. So everything is gonna be pinned and repeat every single time once we get this set up. So I have my collet, I'm gonna go ahead and put my sleeve in the spindle first. Put that in. It's just a nice tight fit. Very, very precision fit here. All right. We're going to take our keyed collet and we're going to put that and line it up with the key in the sub spindle. Okay, so I if it's lined up properly, you just keep spinning it a little bit until you feel it pop in. And that's and then if you can push it in and out, that's how you know you're lined up with the keyway. I'm gonna put our nut on here. So we have our collet in and we're good to go. We are ready to start our phase sync procedure. So we go to the control. We're gonna press the custom screen right here, custom graph. It's gonna bring us to a menu. It says main menu at the top. We wanna press the OPR, soft key. And that's gonna bring us to what you would normally go to to change into chucker mode or guide bushing mode. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna page down one time. And that's gonna bring us to a spindle phase shift amount set. So the main thing you need to see here is the set soft key. I'm gonna go to MDI, make sure my door is shut. G701, end of block, insert, and I'm gonna press cycle start. I'm gonna press my custom screen here to go back before I hit cycle start so you can see the what comes up here. Back spindle phase shift amount, adjust mode. 
So now you'll see it says door open, adjust, and then push the set key. My cycle start light is flashing, which means I'm in the middle of a synchronization code. So what happened is the main spindle actually rotated, it phase synced, it locked the main spindle and then released the sub spindle. So now the main spindle is locked at the phase at zero, uh, zero pulses and your sub spindle is free. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna handle that sub spindle up and we can freely rotate that until we get it to fit right on that hex. We're gonna clamp it and then we're gonna press set. As soon as we press set, it's actually gonna change the C axis amount and your phase sync amount all at the same time for the sub spindle and then you're all set. So without further ado, I'm gonna press cycle start. I'm gonna open my door. I'm gonna handle my Z2 axis forward. Z2 is free to move. I'm gonna handle that in. Do I get up on my hex? I went over my part and I'm going to clamp my subspindle collet. Just press back chuck. I'm going to do that two times. That's going to orient the sub collet. It's going to actually take the form of the hex because the main spindle is locked and the subspindle is not. The subspindle will move where needed to line up with that hex or whatever shape that you're actually cutting. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to close my door. I'm gonna go back to MDI. I'm gonna press cycle start one more time. And then I'm gonna press set. You'll see it, back spindle phase adjust mode. It makes the adjustment to parameter 4034 and 4135 for the sub spindle only, and everything is set. Now I can go back to handle. I can unclamp my back chuck, and I can handle my Z2 off the part. And now I'm all set. Now to double check, we can go ahead and run this Again, I can go to MDI, G701, end to block insert, go back to my custom screen, make sure you're on this screen before you hit cycle start. And I'm gonna press cycle start. Back spindle phase adjust mode. So now what I'm gonna do is without changing anything or moving that sub spindle, I'm just gonna handle right over my part and make sure that my sub spindle collet actually goes over my part be, that would, that's going to tell me if the orientation is correct or not. So I'm going to open up my door. I'm going to handle Z2. I shouldn't have to move that subspinal collar at all. Make sure it's open. Goes right over my part. No interference. I can clamp. I can unclamp. No problem. I'm going to back up my Z. I'm gonna shut my door. I'm gonna go back to MDI, press cycle start. And then instead of hitting set, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hit reset. I don't wanna have to, I don't need to reset it or anything like that the second time around. I'm just gonna hit reset and I'm all set. Now the spindle phase sync has been adjusted with the keyway to that collet. So the next time you go to set up this part, you should be able to take the numbers right from this screen and you can manually input those numbers. So if you wanted to save that in your program, you could hit, you know, take a screenshot of this and save it right in your program. Or you could make a little note inside your program that says set your um, 4034 and 4135 for your sub spindle to these numbers and that collet will line right back up to your part again the next time you set up the, the job.